Hi, I am Oscar Butler, singer-songwriter, and I'm here. This is a songwriting session that you get to sit through as I develop my next, uh, one of my next Song a Week songs. And the way I normally start off is usually with some sort of musical uh, hook. And this is, this is something I was playing with this morning. So that's a musical hook that I was working with, and I started just kind of. I got. The, I started writing it down. I started jotting it down a little bit. I got it on a on a little envelope here. But um, so I'm gonna work through where how I, how I worked it out. First off, though, what I want to show you is um, my software that I use for when, when I'm writing songs and I come up with my song ideas. And this software is called TuneSmith. I talked a little bit about this in uh, one of my. Um, hanging with Oscar sessions, but um, the way this works, it's a cool little program. In fact, TuneSmith is actually free, but it's it's connected with uh, another program called Rhyme Genie that you pay you pay a little licensing fee, and it's it's a cool rhyme rhyme um, dictionary type program, but it's integrated with TuneSmith, and to, and like I said, TuneSmith is free. Rhyme Genie is I think twenty something dollars. Um, and a little bit that I spoke about in uh, that Hanging with Oscar was uh, a program called Master Writer, which I had signed on to and paid money for um, some years back, and it never really improved to what I wanted. Um, TuneSmith has exactly what I want, which is one number one, it's a word processor. Um, it keeps track, and there's a lot of other things you can actually keep track of when, if you're pitching a song. Um, but it keeps my whole song catalog. But it also has, in, which I'll, in, in the Hanging with Oscar, I showed a little bit, but it's the ability to make lead sheets right within the program. And that was something that um, Master Writer didn't have. And I actually, because I came on with them early on when they first came out with that program, I had emailed them to ask them if they were going to include something like that. Because for me, it was a pain in the ass Having, you know, having to use a word processor, but then when I wanted to make a lead sheet, I got to take it out of the word processor and put it in something else. And I just wanted it all to be right together. And that's what is the cool thing about TuneSmith. But he, so here I am in TuneSmith. And um, so I, I'm starting off, I, I already put hit plus for a new song. And then I don't know what this, the name of the song is going to be right now. So since I, I came up with that first line, I've got no problem. I'll just put that down. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to be the um, name of the song. Um, I've, whoops, I like it in caps. I've got no problem. And, and you can always, you can come back and change this because in my editing, a lot of times I'll decide, well, you know, I'm, I'm leaning a little bit more towards this within the song, within the idea and, and, and plot of the song. And so I'll tend to change it to something that is a bit more memorable. And then um, here I can put um, my name. And this is for the copyright stuff. When you print this out, it puts all the copyright information right under the title of the song. And then here it's 2019. And so now I'm ready. So now I'm gonna to go to the lyric editor. So now this is the word processor here. And I like to start off, I like to indent um, all my songs because it prints a bit, it prints a little bit better. So um, I'll, I'll hit the ruler, the ruler will come up as you see here and I'll just move this over, I go back there. And then another thing that I do is I enlarge the type because I'm getting old and I'm and it's hard to see. And also, when I'm recording, um, I have I'll usually have this up in the window next to my um, digital audio workstation. 
so I want to be able to see it without usually without wearing my glasses but it's no big deal when I'm when I'm recording um, but and I'll start off with uh, standard it's in standard tuning um, and then capo and three capo three and I always mark that stuff so I know where I'm where I start um, which again that that too can change but then, um, so my first line is I've, whoops, I've got no problem. Um, too big for me. Okay, so that's how I started. And I like to sing it. A lot of times I'll be it, going back and forth to my bathroom See how I look when I sing these. I've got no problems. Too big for me. Um, and then I went to I've got no worries because I'm, I'm I'm talking about my life. Um, I've got no worries uh, that that I cannot foresee. Little rhyme there. Perfect rhyme. I've got no problems. Too big for me. I've got no worries. I cannot foresee. Now, I'm talking about problems, worries, and so I thought, well, you know what I want to do? I want to go to um, my thesaurus. And so I put into my th went to my thesaurus for the synonyms, and I put in problems, and then to see what I came up with here. And and this is always a cool thing um, when you're when you're working on on a song, you want to you want to kind of keep words within the song, kind of relative, very relative. And that's one thing that I like to do is well, what synonyms, what other words can I use that that are talking about what I'm talking about. And so I pulled up problems and then complications, dilemma, dispute, headache, um, issues, and all of these are great words that I, you know, I'm definitely going to use probably a good handful of these in here. Um, but uh, complications is the one that jumped out next for me. And shoe, let's go back here. Uh, let's see, complications. Complications. Um, complications, and I and, and I have an idea of where I want to go now since I've got I've gotten this far. I never, never seem quite. Whoops. Quite right. Um, so. And, and I actually had gone, gone with something about life here, but I, I flipped around. I, I, I was driving. I had to take Riley to the vet this morning. So I, I was driving. I came up with this idea, and I just kind of quickly recorded it on here, um, which was a flip of the last two lines on this. And um, so let's go with what we got there. Um, uh, da, da, da. Let me just play these two. I've got no problems Too big for me I've got no worries I cannot foresee complications Never seem quite right And now the thing the thing that I, I talked about when I when I recorded in the more um, on my phone on the way to, to the vet was I started thinking about there's a saying something like to the effect of uh, it's the rocks in the brook that make the brook sing or something like that and I thought well that's cool you know because it's the rocks those things in the in the in the in the water where the water's hitting them and splashing them in that sound you know the sound that you listen to at night or you have those recordings of the of the um, stream running it's the rocks that are what make that sing and i thought that's a cool idea so that's that's where i went from next was um let's see 
I went next to, um, but it's the rocks. I think it was, let's see. Let's, let's get up here. But it's the rocks that make the brook. Hmm. Sing. And these and these and these things are the chorus of my life, and these things are the chorus of my whoops, my life. 